How you doing, everyone? Sean Henderson Pierre, the Beer and TV Ramble. Um, I'm sitting outside in a little location right here, and we're going to review a beer that would be perfect for a day like this, which you see the skies are about to open up a little bit out here in Mobile. Um, wide open space. Anyway, um, Abita Oktoberfest Lager. Abita Brewery, of course, uh, is down in Abita Springs, Louisiana. Um, it is a, a lager, of course, the style Oktoberfest Marzen style beer. 5.4% ABV. Gets in a very good score on Beer Advocate, an 80 score. Um, what more can you say? It's another Oktoberfest. I did the Sarah Nevada and I did the um, um, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. So now this is the. Second October, third October fest that I'm trying. So let's try it. I'm gonna open up the beer. My bull crap can opener here. Sometimes you gotta do it the old fashioned way. Oh, never mind. They're open. Anyway, Abita. I got my, believe me, I'm not a fan of Alabama. I know they got their butts kicked recently by uh, Old Miss. But um, this is the mug I'm drinking the beer in right now. A Martin style beer, as you can see, the color of the beer and throughout the uh, Bear Bryant hat logo I have here. You can see the color, what it looks like of this beer. Typical, very copper feel. You see a very full head on this beer here. Um. So far with the other two beers I've had of Oktoberfest, um, the other two Oktoberfest style beers, you know, one from Sam's and Sierra Nevada, I would give the Sierra Nevada an okay grade. The Sam's was okay, great, but these styles of beers, I'm not, I'm just not one of those that say, you know, hey, I got to have another one the next day. Um, I'm not one of those that is into that. Um, um, I think they're okay, you know, they're good, they have a place, but not an everyday thing for me. But anyway, uh, reading in the back of the bottle, uh, Abita Oktoberfest is a German-style lager brewed with pale Munich and crystal malts. This full-body multi-lager has a copper color and is hop and dry hop with German Hallerstor, Hallertor, for, forgive my mispronunciation. Hops giving it a pleasant and spicy hop aroma. It does have that aroma. Very full body. Very easy. A little bit of lacing on the beer, as you can see right here. A little bit of lacing. You can taste some of the, the, the spice flavors, your typical style of, of this style, you know, a little bit of well, the aromic flavors to it. Um, some spices are in there, obviously. I like the color of the beer. You know, it's all right. I mean, like I said, as I said earlier, I'm not, I, I like them, but I'm not, it's not an everyday beer for me. These, the, the, this, the, the style, the Oktoberfest Mar, uh, Marzen style. I think I might have said Mart, Mart, Martzen, but it's Marzen style. Um, Of course, Oktoberfest, good with certain dishes, very, very strong cheeses can go good with this uh, beer. Um, 
you know, of, you know, almost every company I know is doing an Oktoberfest. Yingling has done one. Obviously, Sans Yingling, Surya Sarah, I mentioned this. Some of the other breweries out there, even some of the crap breweries are doing an October style beer, but I'm, I'm just not, it's it's not big for me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I guess when this beer comes around, I'm just not into that. You know, now give me a full multi stout. I would, I would deal with that, but you know, again, it's a seasonal beer and that's what they are. Seasonal pumpkin style beers. Thanksgiving dinner beer, you can have this with on a Thanksgiving feast, pumpkin pie, whipped cream, topping. It's good to go with it. So. I love their Abitas. I love their Amber. I love the Turbo Dog. I love the Giacomo IPA. I think those are the three, of course. The Abita. Um, they do the Andy Gator. Um, as well, which I think I also like in the Abbey Ale I tried. I thought that was excellent. Um, has a nice little finish, this beer here, the uh, October has a nice little finish to it. But again, if you're, this is a perfect beer for a Thanksgiving feast, turkey, mashed potatoes, pie, um, green bean casserole. This beer will go good with all those flavors. You know, you know, roasted squash, you know, um, all those flavors, you know, you know, nutmeg and then and, and some cinnamon, cori, you know, uh, allspice type food. You know, this beer will go great with it. You know, I think it's pretty decent. And, um, you know, a lot of people may not embrace this beer, but I think it's all right to me. So. Say what you will about it. Um, but anyway, I'll light my cigar in a little bit. I'm going to go give me a smoke. In fact, it's a bullshit cigar I got right now. Just something up the corner, but um, just something that'd be nice to have. But anyway, ah oh boy. So, uh, tell me, give your thoughts on this beer. Tell me what you, you think about it if you've had this. The Abita Oktoberfest Lager. Um, style between 1 to 10, I'm going to give this thing a 7. Yes, a 7. Uh, it's all right, not great. You know, an in-between score, you know, so, again, it Beers I will try. Someone offered to me. Am I going to buy every day? No. I would probably pick. i probably get, get the Abita Amber before I get this. You know. Give me a stout. Again, you, I've mentioned on the other videos with styles of beer that I like. So, you know. That's just that's just me. And I am H-O in my humble opinion. So, all right, leave your comments, tell me what you think down the bottom. I'm John Henderson Pierre in this very gloomy day here in Mobile, Alabama, telling you to keep watching and cheers.